Okay, so now I'm going to explain what you're going to do on problem number eight and nine. So if you look right here, I need to complete table number one and two. So what I would recommend is you're going to first, you're going to uh, complete this part first, like start here on table one, where it's going to tell you the step. So when we do the scientific method, um, there's these steps that we go through to solve a problem. And uh, you can see right here, um, you're going to learn about each of those steps. So for step one, we call that the problem, or sometimes we call that ask a question. So there's information that you're going to learn about step one. So what I need to do is I need to scroll down. And it says right here, number one, the problem. Okay, so that's the first step of the scientific method, which now you can see this corresponds to this. And here's the information about that step. And so I need to fill in that information here, right here. So like where it says that this is also referred to as state the, and if you look over here, it's referred to as state the problem. So that word is the word that's missing. So I'll go ahead and type that in. And then you'll see it says it's always in the form of a, and I look right here, it's always in the form of a question. So again, all I'm doing is I'm learning about each of these steps of the scientific method, and I'm filling out what happens for each of those steps, okay? And then once you finish uh, step one, okay, before you go to step two, I would recommend going down to table number two right here and answering questions. Since you just read about that step, you just learned about it, that I would recommend um, doing those roundabout of questions for that problem. So um, it's right here, okay? So you see how it says this is the second round of questions? That's what it says right here, that I need to do those second round of questions and then I gotta screenshot my score. So over here, let's just say, so I've read about this and for these questions right here, you're not only looking up here, but you also, it's reflecting on the information back up here as well that you learned about, okay? So you might need to read through this again and this to be able to get all these questions right. And you wanna get 100% because you can retry this as many times as you want, okay? So I'm gonna show you what it looks like once you do these, okay? So let's just go through, I'm gonna get something wrong. Okay, and you see there's quite a few questions. So you just keep guessing, not guessing, I'm sorry, you keep putting what you think the answer is. You should get them all right if you read the information anyways. And then at the end, once you've gone through all the questions, it's gonna show your score. So I'm gonna give you an example of this. So let's say I finished it and here's my score. So you can see it, I know it's kind of not showing up too well, but my score right here, I got one out of three, which would not be a good score, so I would need to retake it. But I'm gonna show you how to screenshot this to put over here, okay? So your screenshot's gonna be different than mine because I'm not on a Chromebook. But anyway, so you come over here, you do a snippet using that video that I showed you above, okay? And then um, yours will be different than mine, just follow that video and I'm gonna paste my screenshot right here, okay? So now my teacher can see and I should have gotten a good score right here showing my teacher that I went through and I read it. Okay, and then now I need to go on to the question, the step number two. So I'll go back up here where it says now step number two, which is form a hypothesis. So I'll go right here, and this is step two of the scientific method. And you can see here's the information right here. I'm gonna use this to fill in the yellow part right here that's missing, okay? And then after I'm done with step two, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a quiz about it. And then I'll take my screenshot of that and I'll put on right here, okay? And then you'll just do it until you finish all of table one right here and table two, okay? Now, uh, a thing to mention right here is don't forget the yellow parts on these ones too right here, because on step three, you gotta fill in what this is called. And you can see right here, here's number three, you're missing the word experiment right there, okay? So make sure you're hitting all the parts that are in yellow, so you're really looking around on this page and answering these and doing those questions. Then when you go down to here, to number nine, okay? I'll scroll all the way down, and on number nine, right here, same thing. I'm reading about a hypothesis right here, and I, whatever part I'm missing, you know, I'll need to uh, fill in. Uh, there's not one missing here, but there will be. Anyways, and you'll see on your paper. I'll fix that. So anyway, so you're reading about this information and you're filling this in here. That's it.